So, hello everybody. Uh, if you th if you take a look at this, uh, if you take a look at the um, the bar right now, um, it kind of looks different because it is uh, not DWM bar anymore. I'm currently using. I'm going to show you. Oh my God! So there's some key binding uh, thing problem, I guess. Uh, I, I haven't gotten used to this. Okay, new fetch. It is sway. Everybody, this is Sway. We're using Wayland again because I I fell in love with Wayland back when I used Fedora uh, for the first time uh, after I bought my computer because I want to go and configure stuff and you know I have a video on that. Let's just do. Uh, I have a video on that somewhere. Like um, if you want to know my opinions on Fedora, it's like in my channel. Where's that? Okay, well, how can I check? things on my channel okay, right here I thought I had you know right here I had done a rant and 700 people you know uh, you know listen to my rant which is uh, very very thankful I'm very very thankful for that thank you for listening to my rant and uh, and this is a new feature again so basically now right now I am not using xorg anymore uh, and I and I, you know, fell in love with i3 again because uh, there are things that I had implemented in my GWM previously. Let's, let's see. I, you know, right now my uh, terminal opening command is set to super inter, and back when I had GWM, it was super shift, shift inter because super inter was set to you know uh, getting the master, you know, putting the terminal into the master thing. You know, master, masters. You know, that what's that called? Master and and slave layout yeah that one uh, so uh, you know that's something I kind of miss but you know I can work with that I can you know emulate some uh, master and stack layout like this but no it's not as great as the normal master and stack layout of DWM I like that because uh, and right now my, my brain has been wired to think in a way of uh, the DWM way and you know using uh, uh, what is this called uh, normal okay, it's not normal now that, that it's kind of normal so uh, as a manual title is kind of you know because I want to see everything like this right and this is what I want to see when I open up windows <laughs> and I have to like work more for the same thing now Unfortunate, very unfortunate. Uh, but I wanted to try out uh, Wayland. That's why I did that because uh, because I was trying out Wayland and you know not the, I didn't find any what's that called graphical recorders. I just did that from the terminal, uh, which uh, you know taught me taught me really good stuff. And after using Wayland Sway, you, you know I I'm using Wayland. It's not stable Xorg or anything. So I have figured out how much stupidly complicated I had made my things, uh, and I just don't want to use DWM anymore because it's just too much work now. You know, I could use DWM, I could do it, you know, live in there without any work. I know that, but take a look at how I configure DWM, right? Uh, uh, This is a C file. Uh, if you can see, uh, if you know C, C is a difficult programming language. It's not like freaking JavaScript where you just do whatever the hell you want. Uh, you know, there are things like, look at this syntax. Uh, is that a kind of, yeah, it's, uh, I think, uh, yeah, it's uh, uh, an array of uh, structures. And it's kind of amazing because it's an array of structures, and I don't know what this structure is. Uh, the structure is key, and it has like three different things. It's enum and what's this? I don't even know what the key structure is. Let's 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 check. Let's just check. Okay, xf stop. Not here. Dwm dwm dot c. We want to check that. And we're going to search for struct key. 
key key no, okay. Con control s search struct so, key do we have the key structure here I, I, I don't even want to check anymore. I, I'm just done. So, you know, I understood how much difficult my life was getting it because uh, because for doing stuff with Sway, it's just... This file. And I can even, you know, do stuff to the bars and this configuration file is so much easier than C. You know, like I know that it's not as powerful as C. I don't even think this is Turing complete, but you know, <laughs> it's all I need. I, 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 and I, and, and about patching, there's only one thing that I do not like. Uh, it's not something that I do not like, but it's something I wish there was, uh, and I'm not able to get because I know there is, uh, like system tray. Like, look at this, I would be most of the time using a system tray right here. Uh, to you know manage my network because I want to do it the other way because I can actually do it the other way because there's like yeah I can connect to Wi-Fi like this uh, and that's all you need to network for like, what, what do you need more for you know I connect to Wi-Fi from a script but you know I want that that it's it's like kind of more easier um, and if you know me if I have told you something about that, I think I ha I made a video, but I didn't upload. Uh, it it's long, guys. I uh, for this like um, okay, deal. Let's see. Now I can open up files, uh, patch, and see there is a patch called uh, sister. Right, this patch, this patch is this chunk is huge. Seven hundred sixty three lines of code uh, of fully C code and most of things and because I had patched it so many times it was breaking so much the the name of the variables were different the name of like stupid stuff the, the functions were now laid out completely differently and it took me an hour almost an hour to like take this patch you know, I could like just put these functions somewhere and then where the functions are like normal functions are being edited. I had to go through, take a look at that, you know, understand the stuff a little bit because I know a little C. Not much, but you know, I know this variable does this thing and you know, its name has been changed to that, you know, something like that. And took me an hour straight because if you were a C guy you could probably done that in like five minutes but I am not and it took me so much time an hour to get a sys tray working in DWM and that was supposed to be a suckless program this thing has less features than DWM like it doesn't have a sys tray and it has it and it doesn't have another feature somebody might say it's a bug, it's a feature, it's a design choice, I know, but it doesn't have a, an automatic s master and stack layout of tiling. But I like Wayland. You know, it doesn't have any practical reasons to use Wayland, but I have found one, which is I've figured out, like, the battery life is a bit more, because when I was using uh, Xorg and playing a 1080p video, uh, it, the power power watts, you know, the power intake would like rise to like 12 watts. Okay, mine is currently just uh, what's that? It, it it's the, it, when I'm playing a 1080p video from Wayland uh, in Firefox in YouTube is around nine watts. It doesn't go up to 10. It's mostly less than 10, which gives me a bit more battery life. To work with because if I just plug this into some uh, into a brick you know if I just plug plug it into you know anywhere then I would use DWM because it's like more familiar to me 
And the other thing I really like about this thing is because, um, you know, my, uh, my, like, volume up, volume down scripts have always been working. And I, I'm still using DWM blocks, by the way. It's pretty useful because there were, there's like i3 one, it's called like i3 status, and you have to configure it in other ways and, and stuff. But there's a way you can use like DWM blocks. No, oh, it's a sockless program. What did I expect, right? There's no help page. <laughs> If you do DWM blocks that dash P is gonna throw everything out into um into like what's this called? Uh standard out. Okay? And I'm using because DWM blocks dash P to work with that. And the other thing I am doing is uh C D dot uh rise and you know how I found out about this? I wanted to edit DWM blocks dot C to uh, put things in standard. Uh, what's that called? Input. Oh, standard output, and not in uh, X. So oh, it's just two hundred lines of DWM blocks dot C. And if you think about this, it, this program is 213 lines and the, the previous patch for having, you know, or getting SysTray was like so much. You know, you wonder why it's like this. And uh, blocks, where is this? Get command, get command. You know, I wanted to get that out to, so, you know, I wanted to, you know, there would be a string and there, and I, and I took a look at that and I found something with like dash D was like and I saw dash P and I thought it would be something uh, with the in the lines of okay uh, it says handle command line arguments I, for me the code was a documentation they don't do documentation I came here to look and I saw this and I and I found out that there were new features like it was, it was not even documented it was probably my bad for not looking at the man page. I don't know. Oh. No, they, they don't have a manual in <laughs> What did you expect? No. Um, they're suckless people. And what does this dash D do? String copy. And when this is P, it's like... Uh, write status because PSTD out huh <laughs> it's sick faults <laughs> I don't even know how this hacky stuff works <laughs> uh, it's amazing guys this thing is pretty amazing I guess dash D would work in X or I do not know. Let's go. I'm gonna check check it out later. Uh, but this is it. I'm uh, this is what I wanted to say to you guys is like I'm back. I'm not back, but I uh, have transitioned to Wayland, and Wayland is pretty amazing. And if you want to record videos, it's pretty easy. I'm I'm going to show you that as well. Uh, why do I open? Because right now, if Super Shift Intro is like set to Emacs client. And for opening to up terminal, just super and enter, it's it, it's like pretty different. Uh, to me, it's like yeah, it get it. You know, you kind of have to get used to it. Um, where is that uh, stuff? Uh, way record, and we can the record that I said. It's just nothing. It's just one liner. Wf recorder dash a dash f. Uh, and percent one, you know what? And for uh, you know, dollar sign one is it's saying like if you have this first argument is called dollar sign one, so like uh, it's going to be recording recorded in try one dot mkb, it's still being recorded inside this file, okay? Uh, uh, and and then it's like I'm using 
uh, via API uh, and using this thing. I, I don't even know what this is. I, you know, I, I just took a look at the man page for recording it with like hardware encoding and I, I got this and, and I think it's going to use a bit less power. That's it. Have a great day. And this is it. So to stop recording, I just need to put give it like the um, the signal. What that? What is that signal? I do not know. It's just control C. I guess interrupt signal. I don't know. It's, and have a great day. And okay, I don't have anything to say. Have a great day and live your life well. Thank you very much.